Hey guys, look Fuck here, and welcome to another FIFA 19 play review. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the 86 rated foot headliner Marcus Rashford. He has got a very nice, good looking card. I was able to get him for absolutely free, which is fantastic in a 100k pack. And in the four games that I played him with, he scored me five goals and got me one assist. And he does have a four star weak foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving on to his in game stats, his main standard stats are going to be his 93 agility, his 89 dribbling, his 93 shot power, and finally his 96 sprint speed. And I did have the sniper chemistry down applied to this Marcus Rashford card and I have to say for the most part I did enjoy this guy I think there's some parts to him which are a little bit disappointing and probably don't represent the value of 600,000 coins for example his finishing only at 84 so what I did was I did obviously apply the sniper chem style which increases his finishing to 99 and I have to say I think that made a big difference I have to say his finishing that is going to be the first pro to this card his long shots as well are absolutely insane but with the sniper chem style his long shots actually remain at 82 they don't get upgraded but I tell you they definitely felt a lot better than 82 long shots he scored some very nice goals from outside the box. Uh, I think maybe one or maybe one or two I'm not I'm not too sure but even so his long shots were very good his shot power as well coming in at 93 was very good and obviously that 87 attack positioning as well which is very nice and that is also increased to 92 with the sniper chemistry star again very good obviously five goals in four games was a very good retain he's also got that four star weak foot which is brilliant so it's going to be good on either foot as well which is obviously fantastic and definitely finishing being the first pro to this card his second one being his dribbling now, I have to say I wasn't expecting his dribbling to be fantastic he's at the height of six foot one and to me he just comes across as that type of player that would be a little bit clunky on the ball but I was completely wrong I have to say he felt very smooth on the ball very on the mall very smooth on the ball with 93 agility 81 balance 83 reactions 89 dribbling as well obviously very nice he's got that four star skill as well which is absolutely fantastic felt very good I have to say and just made it to be a very good experience at a striker card obviously you know a very good finishing and very good dribbling is obviously very very nice with the four star four star as well is obviously very decent now there's no cons well there is one con to this card and that is the fact that he's too expensive um not a con in the sense that it doesn't really affect what i'm saying is there's no problem to the car when using him he doesn't feel slow he hasn't got bad finishing he hasn't got bad passing he's his strength isn't that bad it's not fantastic but he can defend players off the ball um it's simply he's too expensive in my opinion is it likely he's going to get more special cards yes but i can't see him getting more than maybe one or two more special cards also he's in line for player of the month as well so that player of the month is going to be a lot cheap if he wins player of the month that is that'll be a lot cheaper than this 86 card yes it won't be quite as a higher rating but it'll still be a lot cheaper and i Arguably just as good, maybe one or two ratings lower. And I just think it's a little bit too expensive. The max we'll probably see this card getting to is going to be an 80. If he gets a team of the season, this card will not be upgraded. If he gets a player of the month, this card will not be upgraded. And to be honest, I think they should be. Certainly for a player of the month card, this card should get an upgrade for it. But according to EA, they were going to give upgrades to this card for man of the matches, informs, heroes, uh, team of the tournaments, which he could get into with the Champions League and stuff like that. But um We'll have to see how United do in the Champions League and whether he's going to be used that often in the Champions League as well. I just don't see this card being worth 600,000 coins. Don't get me wrong, he's very good, but in my opinion, he's just too expensive. If he was playing for, like, I don't know, Newcastle or something like that, he'd be half the amount. He'd be, like, 300,000 coins. It's the fact that he's playing for Manchester United. You know, he's one of the big, bright stars in English football and stuff like that, both in FIFA and IRL. And um, I think he's just too expensive. I think he's a good card, but the price tag just puts me off wanting to pay money for him. I'm going to cash out and definitely take the... 600k into my club to go and buy myself uh hopefully another icon for my team but uh, personally although it's a very good card to use in game i think it's just a little bit too expensive how much would i pay for this card probably 300,000 coins max uh i think there's just so many better strikers that you can get as well for a much cheaper price from the premier league and other leagues just around in general and uh in my opinion although he's likely to get more special cards still even if he gets maybe an 87 or 88 special cards it probably still wouldn't represent 600k in value in my personal opinion but anyway guys that is going for thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later